You want to be healthy as you age. You know, you want health span. Ideally, you know, you want to be healthy and moving around when you're 80 years old. It is so important to be chill with yourself or to accept yourself as who you are without expecting yourself to be some superhuman productive robot. I think we torture ourselves or we beat ourselves over the head because we think we're supposed to be these productive people that simply we're not or we hold ourselves up in comparison to other people and really that actually just doesn't help. I think we can often get a lot of insight and wisdom and a connection to this common human experience by listening to other people's, by looking at larger than life figures for guidance and reminders. And if you saw recently, Lex Friedman interviewed Jeff Bezos, and I just want to share a really insightful clip here. So here we go. What's a perfectly productive day in the life of Jeff Bezos? You're one of the most productive humans in the world. Well, I first of all, I get up in the morning and I putter. I like... I like have a coffee. Can you define I, putter? Just like I slowly <laughs> move around. I'm not as productive as you might think I am. I mean, I because I do believe in wandering, and I sort of I, I you know I read my phone for a while. I read newspapers for a while. I chat uh, with Lauren. I drink my first coffee. Um, so I kind of I move pretty slowly in the first couple of hours. I get up early, just naturally, uh, and. Uh, and then, you know, I exercise most days. So wonderful, right? That sounded like a human being talking about normal human being activity. I get up and I putter. I drink coffee. I chat. I go on my phone. <sighs> I found it super duper refreshing to hear Jeff Bezos, one of the richest, most powerful people on the face of the planet, talk like he is a human being. So just remember, you're a human being. You are not a robot. It's okay that you're not a super high achieving creature. Even if you want to be, we need to accept ourselves and actually even appreciate ourselves for who we are. Then we can change, right? Then we might be able to add a little more productivity into our day. Although without that recognition and without remembering that other people are like us as well that endeavor that desire to achieve these goals and to be who we want to be can be much more difficult let's get a little bit more wisdom from mr bezos here most days it's not that hard for me some days it's really hard and i do it anyway i don't want to you know and it's painful and i'm like why am i here and <laughs> i don't want to do I mean, why am i here at the gym <laughs> why am i here at the gym why don't i do something else you know this it's not always easy uh what's your source of motivation in those moments i know that i'll feel better later if i do it and so like the the real source of motivation i can tell the days when i skip it i'm not i'm not quite as alert i don't feel as good um and then there's harder motivations it's longer term you want to be healthy as you age you know you want health span you want Ideally, you know, you want to be healthy and moving around when you're 80 years old, you know, and so there's a lot of, but that kind of motivation is so far in the future, it can be very hard to work in the second. Yeah. So thinking about the fact, I'll feel better in about four hours if I do it now, I'll have more energy for the rest of my day and so on and so on. Okay, wonderful. So there you have it. Jeff Bezos is a human being. He also doesn't want to go to the gym. He also gets up and wants to chill and not get to work right away. It's okay to be a human being. It's important that we push back or that we, I know for me personally, I need to remind myself I'm not some hyper productive robot. And for me, I drive myself a little bit crazy sometimes or the self criticism comes in where I'm telling myself I'm not enough, I should be doing more, I'm not doing this, and because I'm not doing this, I'm going to be a failure, I'm never going to be this, I'm never going to be that. <sighs> and when I hear things like this from people like Jeff Bezos, it actually really helps calm me. It helps remind me that I'm not alone when I feel these things. I'm not alone when I want to turn the other way or avoid doing the difficult things that I actually know will help me feel better. So I just wanted to share this with you. I think it's important to remind yourself you're not a robot and it's okay to chill. Take it easy. Peace. 
I am very grateful that you watched to the end of this video. Please click one of the boxes to watch more of our content and otherwise have a great day. Peace out.